What's up everyone, I'm Drew Binsky, and today I'm gonna to show you what $10 can get you in the beautiful little town of Moshi, Tanzania. Here we go. Moshi is located in northern Tanzania at the foothills of the tallest freestanding mountain on earth and the pride and glory of Africa, Mount Kilimanjaro. The town itself has no more than 200,000 residents and it's surrounded by some of the most stunning natural beauty and wonders that you've ever seen. Hey, tell me about Moshi. Moshi, Moshi is brilliant man. Moshi is a tourist place and we work here. We're happy to see people come in visit us. We say welcome Moshi Kilimanjaro. Thank you bro. Oh. You're Michael Jordan bro. Oh, Michael Jordan. Yeah, Michael yeah, Jordan. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. I'm here in Moshi because my friend Nick, aka Bongo Zozo, has told me to come here because he lived here and he's actually spent the majority of his life in this country. What does Tanzania mean to you? Uh, Tanzania gave me everything. You know, I came here when I was 21 and uh, I only came here for three months and then I uh, met a woman uh, who I eventually married and had children with. When I came here, I had nothing. I didn't have a relationship, I didn't have children, I didn't have money, I didn't have a business. And so I really feel right. putting back in Tanzania is kind right. of my life's purpose. You are about as local as a person can get, which is why I'm so comfortable <laughs> seeing Tanzania with you. And also, you're fluent in Swahili. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, the secret to learning a language for me was sleeping dictionary. You know, my uh, the woman I met who I eventually married, well, she didn't speak much English at the time, so we just spoke Swahili, and I just wanted to know what she was nagging me about. So basically what that means is that Nick will be helping me translate and negotiate with street merchants using Swahili. Alrighty, we just hit an ATM. $10 is about 23,000 Tanzanian shillings. It's time to hit the markets and see what we can buy. You excited? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm always excited, baby. Born excited. <laughs> <laughs> Bangazosa, where are we going now? Ah, uh, mate, well, you can't not go to this place in Moshi. Moshi's famous, well famous, for its uh, coffee beans. It's on the, the slopes of Kilimanjaro. I love coffee, man. But so listen, I tell you, this is the best coffee, I would say, in the world. Union Cafe, it says since 1939. That's a long time. That's like, what, 70, 80 years? I'm a little bit tired at the moment. I would love a cup of coffee. Could we get two cappuccinos, please? Yes. It's like an historical cafe. That's why you see these pictures of, a, of a several leaders like of a cooperative union. It's like a museum. How is the coffee? Is it good? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Best coffee in Tanzania? Yes, Tanzania. This is an original coffee roaster from 1920s, 1930s. Itself is a collector's item, something to do with the uh, copper element in it I did once ask. This is really, really quality. Thank you. Asante Sana, wow, look at that. It's got a perfect shape that they made, they handcrafted, which looks really nice. Now, what did we order? What kind of coffee is this? This is just a one-shot cappuccino. One-shot cappuccino, yeah, the not two shots. No, no, one shot. Yeah, you want to know the price? One dollar. Uh, one dollar. Uh, on your beer. Yeah, that's what happens. In fact, if I, if I really hit a cappuccino, good. <laughs> that was a little rated R for you guys. <laughs> okay, let's try this cappuccino. It's creamy. Yeah. That is delicious. I've had a lot of coffees around the world. Something I really enjoy doing, but this one truly lives up to the expectations because it's so locally grown, you know. Kilimanjaro coffee is more than just a drink. It's a cool home. You can feel the coffee grabbing your soul and bringing you back to Tanzania. Because the first humans ever discovered were discovered in Olduvai Gorge in Tanzania, which is why the great philosopher Shakira said, we are all Africans. And what she meant, of course, seeing as that Olduvai Gorge is in Tanzania, is that we are all Tanzanians. Feeling all good and energetic, we hit the streets of Moshi, which were a lot more bustling than I expected for a small town. Nick and I were off to find some unique local things to purchase in the markets. For being such a small town, this place is lively, man. There's yeah. a lot going on here. Like the hustle and bustle, man. That's... Love it. People think Africa is a dark place. Eh? Dark and gloomy place. No, Dude, man. you know the yeah. difference to that. Yeah, yeah. How do you normally spend your time here, like on weekends? On uh, weekends, it's golf, man. Golf. golf. 
I play off 16, I love golf, I play every single weekend. I want to play golf, but usually it's too expensive, so I can't include it in my $10 video. <laughs> Five bucks! Five bucks! Five Get bucks. out of here! No, I'll tell you, TC, TPC. There's this sugar plantation. They kind of do it for all the sugar plantations. I literally workers. don't believe you. Golf is no, 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 minimum no. 50 around. Yeah, I'm down to play. The only problem is I don't have any nice shirts. I only have these Just Go shirts, which are nice, but not golf nice. Yeah, you need colors. I need a collar yeah. shirt. We're yeah. right near a closed auction, and a closed auction is a mental, man. You just stand at the side and quote your price. I've actually never been to one in 20 years. I just drive past them, and they just look so so much mayhem and I love mayhem I love Africa for the mayhem I love the chaotic streets yeah, I, I love the hustle and bustle let's go find a golf shirt that I can get I said I'm just making sure that I get the directions right okay so this is the way all the clothes are starting to sell I'm thinking this is the auction they say this fashion is not available in Moshi, but they're just not telling me the truth. They want me to buy their clothes. Let's go look. Yeah, baby. Literally, this place is covered in clothes. Like right where my feet are, you can see belts and beanies and socks. I don't think golf is the most popular sport in Tanzania. Oh my God, it's so chaotic. I don't even know where to look. Hey, so this is the auction. What the hell is happening right now? Please hold that camera with your life. Hold it tight, hold it tight. She's taking you? Yeah. There we go. This market is like squeezed in between the busy street and all these shops over there. Okay, okay, with this lady taking it. an army of people. Yeah, well. Oh my god, please don't get hit by a car. What's your name? Lucy. Lucy, nice to meet you. We, get, well, we asked one girl and she gave us another girl, but now we're following this girl. And uh, everyone's been paid commission along the way. Like the hustle and bustle, man. I love it. It refreshes my soul. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you're thinking of positivity, yeah, I ride on positivity. So you walk through these places and you just suck up the positivity and you give it back, and there's just this upward spiral. I completely of positivity agree. Positivity and color, man. Exactly, and that's why I love markets and, and going to big cities because you experience this. We have found the secret stash of shirts. I'm so happy I actually found golf shirts here. I didn't think I would find it because golf's not a popular store here. I did Asics, dude. This is Asics. Look at these, I want to buy these. And you know what? They're $1.75 each. This is Incredible. awesome. For real though, like these are what I wear when I golf. Like just like, oh, Korean. Korean. It eh? says, Yol Dong Hee. That's the name of a guy. Anyways, so I picked out this one. This is the one we're going to be golfing in and it costs a buck 75. Thank you. Thank you. Good pump. We are heading to golf now. Nick was not joking. We are really driving to a golf course and the views on the street are incredible. Well, this is way nicer than I was expecting, man. Ah, uh, this is the best place in Moshi, yeah. It's super chill over here. The market was crazy. <laughs> yeah. And now it's like very peaceful. Well, that's why, this is where I come to recharge my batteries, yeah? Right. Like uh, Africa's hectic, yeah? But you need a little place where you go and nobody disturbs you and you just sit and watch and play a bit of golf. You know, golf is So there, $5 are. for this round? Yeah, yeah. Is there a pro insane. shop that we pay or what's... What, what? No, they don't have a pro shop. They have a very nice restaurant, huh? very, very good food. I think they make their money on the food. Who are these guys walking past? Who are uh, these guys? These are my caddies. caddies. I've known these guys for 10 years. This is Ima and this is Luca. Hey, hey what's up, man? Vipi. Mambo VP. Uh, what's up, man? Boa. Yeah. What's and your then? handicap? My handicap is three. Three? Yeah. Three? And yours? Uh, handicap is three. Handicap your handicap three? Yeah. These guys play all the time. That's about day. my handicap, so yeah, they're gonna, right. but they have home field advantage, so they're gonna kick yeah, my ass. You right? get like six shots in. Yeah. So are they just carrying our clubs or are they playing? No, 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 they're playing with us. They're uh, playing? You, you always play with the caddies just to see the beauty of how golf should be played. Damn. Here are my clubs. They're just like used clubs, kind of leftovers. All different kinds of brands. PGA. This is a nice driver. We got the Titleist, TaylorMade. The best part is this putter. Look at this thing. It's like a... Well, how would you describe this putter? It's uh, top of the range, baby. It's quite funny though because he's British, so he's got different humor than I have on the golf course. And we got a little Ryder Cup match going on, USA versus Europe. The only difference is I'm so much better than him and I'm kicking his This is a very big Americanist thing. Every time before a shot, he says, yeah, you suck. Which is something in British. It's I, just I not destroy British. you, but yeah, I yeah, destroy yeah, but it's you. It's not British. Look at British. your pants, man. <laughs> 
I heard like five tree sounds. Yeah, yeah. Anytime I get the chance to play golf, I do it in other countries. Partly because I grew up playing golf and it's one of my favorite sports, but also it's kind of like therapeutic for me. Traveling all the time, editing videos, stressing about work, and golf is the only time I can like totally zone out and just focus on hitting a little white ball in the hole. And for all you guys who have never played golf and think it's boring, I suggest you to give it a try. It's fun, it tests your, your mental capacity, and uh, it's just, it's a great thing to have in your back pocket when you travel, because there's golf courses all over the world. It's for the ego. Nice chip. Not bad. Never a bad idea. Well, technically, I need to see that in actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Good birdie, good birdie, good birdie. Well, that was a really fun round. Shot four over. Got my ass kicked by the caddies that we played with, but it was it was really a treat to play golf. But now I'm starving. Back to head into town to get some food. Uh, we're eating something called Kiti Morto, which stands for hot chair. What does that mean? Well, it's pork, and when it came in, it, this is a 50% Muslim country, and so uh, when it came in, there was a lot of uh, hot seat when you'd eat it. It was uh, quite revolutionary, I'd say. Quite uh, a scandal, almost. Well, I'm a big fan of pork, so yeah, that's well, all I need to know, and we're, let's go eat it right now. Okay, cool. There's a very good story in the villages where the networks don't work. The old men will come out of the bar and shout, Kitimoto! It means they want Kitimoto. They're all laughing at you. We're eating a lot of pork here in uh, Tanzania, and apparently this is the place to get it. It's super crowded, lots of people here, and I'm so excited to eat it. You know you've gone somewhere good where you have to fight to get your order in, you know? So that's the pork, that's the bananas? Yeah. Yeah. And then we got cucumbers and tomatoes. Kitimoto. Mm. Bro, it's like barbecued pork. This is ugali. It's one of my favorite side dishes in East Africa. You basically eat it with your hands and it's made from corn. And I've been wanting Deanna to try it for so long. Try it. It's made from corn. Mm. It's they, like rice. Yeah, they eat it instead of rice. Do you like Kitimoto? Yes. That is my favorite. It's my favorite because I don't like it. I don't like the chicken, but the kitimoto is still for me. The customers here are inspecting the meat. So this lady here is inspecting this pork here. The kitimoto was everything I ever dreamed of. It was delicious. I absolutely enjoyed it. And uh, now for dessert, we're going to get a local specialty drink which uh, I think you guys are going to enjoy. And myself, maybe. Yes! This guy here, I can smell on him. He's already had him begging, yeah? Yes, He's been drinking him begging all day today. We're going to yes, go drink it now. Push. Uh, this is very local beer made from uh, bananas and millet. It's traditional for Kilimanjaro and it's called mbege. I've had some strange alcoholic beverages around the world and I think this will contribute to that list. Here we go. This Not is the bar. This. Now this is very traditional local bar. Begin from Benzuri. Quat young. He says it's very good for your health. How often do you drink it? Twice a week. Twice a week. Yote, 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 yote. Nikki's still going. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I just went in the kitchen and saw how it's being prepared and the funny thing is I already know what it tastes like from the smell uh, and she's serving it to us right now. So here we have a rather giant cup of this locally brewed alcohol beer. Hakuna Kitu Kamambege! It is not good by the way. I want to be honest, I had this in Swaziland where the, the country changed its name to Eswatini in South Af near South Africa and they brewed me something almost extremely similar to this and I couldn't finish the glass. Um, but like you said earlier, you have to try it and just um, respect the culture. Yeah, they want to try it? It's like a beer. It's bad, right? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> because uh, my in-laws are from this area, I have to drink this. Uh, when you're sitting with old, old men in the village, you're kind of obliged to drink it. Um, and the pr problem is the uh, very top is, is, is the chewy millet. 
I asked them actually to take it off because the actual juice itself isn't so bad, you know. Here she is, she's taking off the kalimba. You want to kalimba? She, she tastes it before giving it to a customer, which is very interesting. Ask her how many cups can she drink until she's drunk? <laughs> Just two. Now, wait, wait. Five, five, five for him. Where are you? Tattoos, just three. It's very strong. Oh, I'm begging. Yeah. What's interesting is right outside of that uh, shop where we just had the mbege, they're actually making it. Uh, well, now what they're doing, they're drying. I think they're drying the millet here. What is millet? Uh, well, the mbege is, is a mix between banana juice and millet. So this is the millet here that I think ferments it all. Whoa, that's so interesting. Look, it looks like mustard. Yeah, that's cool, man. It's about as local as it can get when they're literally growing it and producing it and cooking it right outside the shop where it comes from. So it's dinner time now and I'm starving and we are about to try Chips My Eye, which is a really famous tree food here in Tanzania. Chips My Eye is a chip omelette, or for Americans, a french fry omelette. It's uh, just a mix of egg and uh, chips fries. It sounds pretty innovative to me. Uh, well, Tanzania is a very innovative people. They'll mix this and that. They mix cultures, they mix religions, they mix everything here. Words, language, that's what Tanzania is all about. Mandela, what's up, bro? What's up, Drew? Do you guys remember him? He was with me in Zanzibar. Hey, I'm welcome here. Yeah, man. So what are we eating right now? Tell me. We're well, full of chips my eye. Well, I'm missing. You're eating chips my eye at uh, Missy's place. It's very popular in Arusha. Everybody who's going out partying, this is the late night spot. Ready? Right. Taste this, oh. It's exactly what it looks like. French fries and an omelet all mixed together. It's delicious. Very Tanzanian specialty. Thank you guys for taking me here. Karibu sana. It was dead your mind. In total, I got a delicious cappuccino, a golf shirt, a round of golf, kitimoto, a banana beer, and chips my eye for $9.77. And that's what $10 can get you in the lovely country of Tanzania. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. You know the drill by now. Hit me up on Instagram at Trubinsky for more content and live updates from Tanzania and the world. And I will catch you guys later. Peace. So I want to introduce you to this guy Joshua. He's a cartoonist, right? Which is very different. And he has been drawing cartoons of me fixing things, saving cows. But you say you've uh, brought something for us. Yes. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It's a, I think you guys have got a gift uh, from. Uh, this is going to be. This is going to be awesome, by the way. You're going to be, have your your mind a bit blown here. Wow! Oh. Oh, look at this. <laughs> dude, that is awesome, man. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Really realistic, got Kilimanjaro in the background, wearing the Maasai outfit, and I will keep this forever and I'll put it on my wall. Thank you, bro. Wow. My friend Danford, I've spoken to him about this, yeah? He says, if somebody sees your video and is a tourist, when they come here and they order food, they get a free cappuccino. That's exactly. the fine print. Sure. But they sure. have to say, I saw you on Drew Binsky's channel, yeah. and I'm a tourist from afar, sure. and I'm ordering food, yeah. the cappuccino is free. Awesome. He doesn't up. actually know how many people are going to come here. This is yeah. going to be insane, man. But I like your videos. Like, Thank you, man. What's your name? I'm Max. Where are you from? I'm from Germany. Which part? Uh, from Berlin, actually. Really? Yeah. Great yeah. city, man. I like this, this dollar challenge. This is fun. That's, what, you, that's yeah. what we're doing right now. Oh, you're doing it right now. This is part of the $10 video. <laughs> nice, very good. Yeah, nice. bro. <laughs> what do you love the most about Tanzania? Mostly the down to earth culture. So, well, people are very humble, you know, and uh, just uh, very welcoming. And uh, uh, once you try to get into the culture a bit by maybe speaking a bit of Swahili or so, people are really, really, really appreciative. and. Uh, and uh, I just see you as one of their own, which is kind of funny because uh, I think in Europe we don't do that in, in, in a sense. Uh, we always see them as Africans and uh, uh, that's something different here. I think. Yeah. That was a beautiful yeah. word, man. Thank you, Sam. Very, thank you. 
I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and ring that little bell so you can get notified on all my upcoming videos as I take you to every single country in the world.